Welcome back to Strong's Little Farmhouse. If you're new here, we bought a 101 year old farmhouse that we are renovating and restoring. Today, we are continuing uh, the process of trying to get rid of all the vermin and the varmints and the pests that are associated with any farmhouse. So this is part two of pest control. The saga continues. This time, it's stinky. So, they have this bird feeder here, which is all well and good if you really want to feed the birds, but the only thing we've seen feeding out of this thing is a big fat squirrel. And we don't want to attract other varmints, which from what we've read online, also attracts skunks, which we have under our house right now that we got to get rid of. So we're going to get rid of this thing. And besides, it's an eyesore. picking it up, putting it in the wagon, and taking it over and dumping it. Victory! Okay, so in our continuing efforts to manage our pest control, today I am going to make skunk bombs. Both rats and skunks do not like really strong odors. That's sort of ironic, skunks don't like strong odors. Anyway, so um, what they recommended is take a rag and soak it in ammonia and um, then throw it under your house and that will drive them out. Make sure you leave openings open so they can escape. So we're gonna do that. We're also doing it in conjunction with putting a radio under the house and that is supposed to um, drive them out. So we're gonna see if we can get this to work. So to make a skunk bomb, you can use an old dish rag or an old towel or whatever. We just moved, so I only have a couple of dish rags because I threw out everything else that was old and raggedy. I didn't happen to have these pet um, training pads. So we're gonna use these. They're not ideal. They're not the thing that would most work, but this is what we've got. So uh, you just bundle them up in a ball, holding on to this little bit like this, wrap this around, give this a twist like a present, wrap it under, Go another direction, wrap it under. The goal is to make a really nice tight ball so that the aroma, the ammonia, does not evaporate quickly. You want the scent to stay as strong and as possible for as long as possible. Just like make a regular knot, like that. Okay, and then give yourself four or five feet string because this is how you're going to control you throw this in under the house and you pull it back so you can get it out and you don't have to crawl in under the house if you don't mind crawling in under your house you don't have to have the extra five feet but um this is a good way to do it so uh, i'm gonna make four of these puppies uh, we'll get a bowl we'll put the ammonia in a bowl we'll soak these in there and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, last one. Uh, now I'm using these. <laughs> okay, here's something funny. 
I'm using these pet pads, which first of all say has an attractive odor for dogs in order for easy training. So it attracts to it. And then it says it controls odor and dogs and cats pee have ammonia in it. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but this is what we've got. So I'm using something that controls odor to trap a skunk. We'll see. There we go. Skunk bombs. I made skunk bombs out of dog training pads to kill the rats under my house. There's a sentence I never thought I would say. Yep. Oh, you smell the skunk? Yeah. And we, Carrie made these uh, rag wads that we're gonna saturate with ammonia and then we're gonna toss them in under the, uh, underneath the house, along with a radio that's set to a, a, a talk station that we're gonna leave on loud all night. Hopefully that will drive a skunk away. We'll see. Talk radio can have that effect on some animals. We'll push it down in there, or did you fill it too full? It's, it's full. Oh, I see it. Coming in close. Coming for a close up. Whew. Look at that. It's absorbing nicely. You know, these puppy pads might not be a bad idea because it says it absorbs up to three pounds of water. Three cups of water, not three pounds of water. <coughs> okay, yeah, don't breathe in heavy. Yeah, that's that's ammonia, all right. Who knew it took something that was nastier smelling than a skunk to drive a skunk away? Is it really saturated all through the center? I, I, I think so, yeah, it's dripping, it's heavy. Is it heavy? Then it's expensive, put it back. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. All right. Ah. Oh, so smart you put your knee pads on today. You bet. Well, that didn't get very far. Because it ran like, into the pipes. Yeah, it's not, a, I mean, it's not like it's a baseball field under there. <laughs> Oh, look at it just absorb that so fast. I just want to toss one more here. Okay. And then I want to put one at the front where that we suspect the skunk is getting into. Well, seeing how much that's absorbing, how much you had left over and how much is in the bottle, we could make probably four more. And then we could get them all, get it everywhere you want. I think we just douse it. I mean, we're going to be smelling like a, a ammonia for days, but... Hey, careful there. All right. Woo! I got a whiff of it that time. Wind change direction. <laughs> Ooh, that one sounded like it went far. Yeah. Whew. Skunk under there. Skunk or ammonia? No, skunk. <laughs> so now I'm going to put the radio. That's no annoying. Yeah. We should find the commercial station and let it run commercials forever. <laughs> That's funny. Foundation repair commercial. Ooh, you can really smell him up here. Yeah, that's why I want to stuff him in the, some holes up there. Skunk bomb number three. Just let that baby soak. Soak it up. Okay, my little Pepe Le Poo friend. You think you can be stinky? We can be stinkier than you. We think this is a pretty major highway right here. 
for him getting in. Okay, let's go get that other one. You are the sapier of the skunk bums. <laughs> I'm going for this one here on the right. Right there? Yeah. Oh yeah, that for sure. That's yeah. his easy in. He yeah. probably has a different escape route. That's okay. That's what we want. Is our whole YouTube channel going to be on pest control? I thought it was going to be like farmhouse renovation. That's as far as up as it wants to go. So. That's okay. all right. It's just all about the odor. All right, it's just dusk outside. And so we're doing this on purpose because skunks uh, will hide during the day. They come out to eat at night. So this is the perfect time to start disrupting them and sort of encouraging them to leave shelter and head out for their evening grubitude. So um, we are going around the house. It's just, the sun has gone down behind the hills. We're just at the last little bits of dusk. And we're getting these last skunk bombs in under the house. There's our beautiful well. Our scary well. If some dead creepy crawly girl comes out of there tonight, I am going to freak out. I think this is highway to heaven right here for both the mice and the rats and the skunk. Mark's got it. Oops. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no problem. There we go. That's in there. So this is a new hole. This is a skunk looking for grub hole right there. So we know we're in the right spot. This is another thing. When you see these little holes like this all through your yard, this is both skunk and armadillo. This is what they do is they nuzzle down under the uh, ground. It's like that hole right there looking for grub so we're gonna get these guys well we're using up the very last drippity drop of ammonia i feel pretty confident that this is his little super highway right here yeah. all right we'll see what happens good job babes thanks you're gonna sit on the Lawn chair with your cigar and your 45 on your lap with a spotlight, waiting for the skunk to come out tonight? Uh, no, but thanks for offering. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the 45 or the cigar? <laughs> I'm gonna be in bed asleep. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching Strong's Little Farmhouse. We're gonna continue the adventures of restoring this beautiful 101 year old homestead and once we get the pest under control, we're going to start working on the renovations. We hope. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us every time we drop a video for more exciting adventures in Strong's Little Farmhouse. We will continue to bring you interesting adventures in varmint abduction. We'll continue the carnage of the rats and the skunks and the armadillos and the possums and the vultures and the mice and the, all the other creepy crawlies.